Hey, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about wearing your eyeglasses in your helmet. I know this can be kind of a challenging thing, especially if you have sunglasses you really love, if you have prescription eyeglasses that you have to wear and you, maybe you can't wear contacts, although I always recommend contacts at least for the writing portion of your life and then glasses for the other days maybe. I recently got a new pair of glasses so that I could start wearing my contacts a little bit less, but it, it's not going to stop me from writing in my contacts. I just wanted some more comfortable glasses to wear at home when I'm not out and about because it's really hard for me to wear these around um, just every day. But it got me thinking about wearing them in helmets and I know that can be really tough. Uh, I would say most of the time there's really only a couple times I find it difficult for people to wear glasses. One, if you're trying to fit your head in a helmet that's too narrow. So if you really love this beautiful Bell Ray Star helmet, but you have a very rounded face, or very, excuse me, very rounded shape, then of course you're sizing up to fit the width of your head, but then it's still very, very tight, and then it's too long. So if your helmet is too narrow, then that's going to make wearing your glasses very challenging. The other times is when brands, you, and, I, and I hate to say this, but usually in lower price points, the liners just aren't as soft and aren't as forgiving to allow you to slide your frames in without any friction. Um, most of the time when you're hitting your $350, $400 price point, the liners are really soft and really smooth and there's usually a lot, there's plenty of room for you to slide your eyeglasses in. The other time it can be an issue is when your glasses don't have a kind of standard plastic frame. So mine just have a, they're very light, they're very thin, which is why I love, that's why I had to buy them, uh, but they're plastic. So they slide right into my showy helmet, which I'll show you in a minute. But the frames can really make a difference. If you wear Oakley's, I know a lot of their sport glasses, uh, a sport eyewear has little silicone tips on the end so that they grip your the side of your head better, which makes absolute sense, especially if you're really active in other sports and you're wearing these glasses outside where you need that grip. But in your helmet, you really don't need that. So that, I know, it can be a challenge. The other times I've seen it to be difficult is when uh, a few people I've seen, they'll be wearing really old-style uh, wiry framed glasses. So you literally curl the frames around the back of your ears and they're really thin and super light but they're too bendy so they're so bendy you can't slide them in because the frame isn't stiff enough to actually push them into your helmet so I'm going to show you how this works on my show we take my glasses off I can't see anything right now except my helmet in front of me I don't ride in my eyeglasses, I only ride in contacts because my visibility is far superior that way, but I wanted to see if I could wear them in my glasses, or in my helmet. Alright, hopefully you can hear me. So here are my glasses, they're just a nice standard plastic frame, and when I put them in, I'm just going to slide them, I'm going to start kind of toward the, above my ear really, like up over my temples. There we go. And then inside my helmet, I can actually shimmy them down a little bit. Now, there we go. For those of you who are buying new helmets, keep in mind that you may either need to change your cheek pad, you may need to wait until you break that helmet in, you know, before you can actually wear your glasses in there. If your frames are really fashion frames and they're just a little too thick, then hopefully you can, um, change the liner, the top liner, or the and or the cheek pads to accommodate, but I would say that if you do spend a little more money, you will find yourself being able to wear glasses in a little bit nicer helmet. Sorry, it's my dog. Um, the liners will just be far more forgiving and smooth and soft. Uh, the I'd say the most generous helmet, though, that I have seen for people to put glasses in without any thought is awry because awry tends to have a wider space ear to ear. So from here to here, awry's are very roomy and if you look inside the helmet, there's actually a cavern. Um, I wanna show you though in my showy here, Let's see if I can zoom in here. So there's always a little space um, right here 
between, uh, oops, between the headliner and the cheek pad. So there's usually a little cavern where the two liners meet each other. And that's, um, that's a really great space to uh, slide your glasses in. And with Arai, the space is even bigger. It's just cavernous. So there's so much room there. They just pop in and there's actually extra space, like a very generous space. So if you are looking for a helmet with a lot of extra ear-to-ear -ear room and then temple space, I'm going to recommend Arai. The liners are also really forgiving too, but the, um, just the space there, it's really easy to slide your glasses in. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.